Hey everyone, for today's Halloween video we're going to be making snake shed canvases. For this you're going to need a canvas, some snake shed, some PVA glue and paint brushes to put it on with, and then it's completely up to you whether or not you want to use paint. If you decide to go with just the plain white canvas, the best sheds are going to be the ones that have some sort of pattern. This shed is from a California mountain king snake uh, that I had for a while called Jasper. He was a bit of a, a rehabilitation thing. So um, when he shed, I kept his shed because I love the stripes in it. He was absolutely gorgeous. He was um, red and black and white. And um, I got this complete shed from him just before I sent him off to a new home because he was a bit unwell when I got him and I was just keeping him until he was well enough to shed properly by himself, etc. So I decided to keep this shed and you can see there's even his little face on it. So I love it. When you've picked a good shed, what you're going to do is you're going to just measure it slightly longer than the canvas and cut it into segments. So for the headpiece, I would like to see if I can try and get the headpiece completely intact on a canvas because I feel like it would look nice. So I'm going to cut it slightly longer than the canvas itself and put that to one side. For the rest of the shed, you're going to split it because if you just glue the entire shed the way it is, it's going to look kind of odd. You're going to see belly scales and top scales overlapping. It's not going to be very aesthetically pleasing. So you're going to want to take a scissors and like I'm doing here, you're going to cut up the middle of the belly scales. So you're going to do this all the way up the entire of the snake, past the vent to the very, very tip of the tail. And that way, when you're done, you'll be able to lay this, the shed out completely flat and you'll be able to see the lovely pattern. You'll be able to see the individual scales and the belly scales themselves will kind of be on the edge. And they look nice, but they're not as pretty as the actual patterned top scales that snakes have. When you're done splitting it up the middle of the belly, what you're going to do is you're going to measure it out just like we did with the head there earlier, where you're going to measure it just slightly longer than the uh, canvas either side. So the reason we're doing it a little bit longer is just because you don't want to make it exactly the size, because if, it, um, if you make a mistake and it's not stretched out properly, you'll just have a weird white border either end and it won't look as nice. Whereas if you do it a little bit longer than the canvas, then you've got the you've got the room for error where if you're like, oh, well, I didn't stretch this part out properly, but it's OK because it's overlapping when it's glued and when it's dried, you can then just trim the very ends to make it neat again. Once you've got your pieces of shed ready, you're going to take your canvas and make sure there's no um, there's no marks or anything on it. And once you're happy with it, you're going to take some PVA glue and you're going to start roughly in the middle area. So if you had this split down into four pieces, you're going to do the middle two pieces and leave the ed edge pieces for now because you're going to be putting the shed down the middle. My shed is not very wide because he's only a king snake. He's not very um, thick bodied. So he's going to only take up the very, very middle part. Make sure you don't put on a ton of glue because it's only skin. It's very thin. It's very light. It doesn't need a lot of glue to hold it in place. And you don't want it to be really, really blobby and have big bubbles underneath or anything along those lines. So just put a really thin layer of glue around the middle area. Leave the sides for now. Leave the very top and end for now. And you can then just lift the edges of the shed when it's, um, when it's nearly dry to top up if you need to. Once you've got your glue spread out and put on, you're going to want to take your shed. Keep the shed close by when you're doing this because obviously you're putting a very thin layer of glue. You don't want it to get too dry before you put on the shed. There are two sides to the shed. There's the proper side, which is the side that a snake actually has upwards when it's on their body. And then there's the underside. So one of them is slightly darker than the other, in my opinion. Uh, one of them, the scales bump outwards and the other, the scales bump downwards. So it's just because when they shed, their shed turns inside out. So just make sure you've got the correct side up or the nicest side, in your opinion, up. And you're going to take basically the middle of the shed and you're going to really lightly press it into the center of your canvas, trying to keep it as straight as possible so it goes straight down the middle, just so it looks pretty. Spread it out a bit like I've done here so you can see that nice pattern. And you're just going to lightly press it in the middle and then you're going to work down to either end to make sure that you've got roughly the same amount of stretched out. You don't want to go stretching it really far to try to take up an entire canvas because the pattern's going to spread and it's not going to look very nice. And then aside from that, you may or may not actually rip the shed, which would be a real pity if it's a really nice piece that's got really nice pattern on it. So just really gently take either end of the belly scales that have been cut and then just spread it out to roughly the same length as you put in the middle and just push down so that you've got uh, very few air bubbles underneath and you'll be able to get a nice a nice view of the, the pattern that was on the on the snake before they shed. Once you've got the middle parts kind of pressed down, they're going to hold themselves. They're very light. They're very thin. 
there's no issues with them from now on and you're going to just go up along the side and try and make sure your belly scales are roughly straight out to the side so you can have them curved if you want it's just i find it doesn't look as nice when they're kind of sticking off the canvas it looks nicer when they're they're pressed to it so i just press along the sides and if they're still lifting along the edge i'm going to take my brush i'm going to put a little bit of glue on it and i'm just going to blop it underneath the edges i know blop isn't a word but i'm using it as a word I'm going to blop it under the edges and drag it all the way out to the side just so it doesn't look like there's just a line of glue because if everything is glued then there's no obvious single place with glue. So if I just put a, a blob of glue underneath the edge belly scales, drag it all the way to the edge and then use the brush to actually pin down the belly scales into the glue as I go because then the belly scales are already shiny so when the glue dries clear it's just going to be shiny. It won't be very noticeable on the already shiny belly scales. When you're done the first side, you're just going to repeat that the exact same way all over again on the other side. If you see any crooked scales, you can just push them around and make sure that they're uh, in line with the rest of the shed. And that's it. So the glue, once you've got the shed on the glue, the glue will actually take a little while to dry. So you've got time to manipulate the shed and move it around a little bit if you think that it's um, it's gone crooked. When both sides are glued down enough, you're just going to take your scissors and you're going to just snip off a good bit of the end. So you're going to sort of put the, the blade against the end of the canvas at roughly a 45 degree angle and just snip along. So then there's a little bit still sticking off. You're going to wait until it's completely dry to get the, the little tiny bits taken off. When you're done, you can just put it to one side, let it dry for a few hours, and you will have a lovely little memento of whatever snake that shed belongs to. The paint comes into play when you've got other canvases. So I just like for the lighter colored sheds, they're not going to look very good on white. So this one is from a uh, snow corn snake. So it's pure white, there's nothing on it. So I said I'd put that onto a black background and you can see all the scales individually. And I just really like the way it looked. So that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next Halloween video.